All right, so for a minus sign right here, what does that mean my signs are going to be? Got to be different. X plus, X minus. Okay. What is the one thing I have to do to show my work for these problems? What's the one thing I have to do to show my work? Ooh. I'm going to take my C value, 48. I'm going to write all my number pairs. Remember this? 1 times 1 gives me 48. 48. 2 times 24. Okay, you guys finish the rest of those numbers. We'll check them in a second. Okay, three times what? 16, four times 12, does five work? No, six times eight. Now the only number left between six and eight is seven, that doesn't work. And now, once again, I'm trying to find the pair when one's positive and one's negative that they add together to give me positive two. And once, once again, a couple of you guys just had this week before spring break. Others, it's been like seven weeks. How do I get a positive two out of this set of numbers? So take a look. 148, 2 and 24, 3 and 16, 4 and 12, 6 and 8. Well, 6 and 8. 6 and 8. Which one do I make positive? I need the 8 to be the positive one and the 6 to be the negative. Positive 8 plus negative 2 gives me a positive 2. Be good. All right. We'll do 49 together. So I got x squared plus 14x plus 45. All right, you guys do this one start to finish. I'll give you a minute. So we got a plus sign here, followed by a plus sign here. So what are we going with? This one here, I'm going to have x plus, x plus. Factors of 45, 1 and 45. Is 2 going there? No. 3 and 15, 4 go? 
No. Five and nine, six, seven, eight. None of them work. All right, how am I getting to 14? Five and the nine. All right, that should get you through problems. 45 to 53, probably about 10 after. We'll start section F. That's the cheater method. Some of you just had me, may know how to remember how to do that. So you can go ahead and keep going if you want.